Growing up in a Nigerian household, it was emphasized to us to either become an engineer, a doctor, or a lawyer. Out of all my siblings who are engineers, I was the only one who studied architecture. In the firms I was working in, I felt that we were catering to the elites, and I felt that I needed to do something that helps like an everyday individual, like a homeowner, or someone who just needs someone to come into their house and renovate their bathroom. So I decided to start Gentero. My name is Chisa Mokuehe. I am 35 years old, and I make $163,000 a year as an architectural designer. So Gentero basically is a consulting firm where we hire architects, interior designers, graphic designers, and photo editors. Last year, Gentero Design brought in more than $400,000 in revenue. Right now I have about 60 clients in the US. Right now I don't actually have a physical office, I just use my home office. It allowed me to spend more time focusing on client management, social media, marketing, and like, you know, studying, reading, and spending more time with my family. So I'm a first-generation Nigerian-American born and raised in California. In Nigeria, there was a civil war called the Biafra War where they were killing millions of Igbos. I'm from the Igbo tribe. My dad actually was a refugee from Nigeria during the Biafra War. So he actually took the last plane from Nigeria to the U.S. My first architectural job was at Perkins Eastman, which is the largest architectural firm in New York. It was mainly a nine to five job, but as I started to receive more responsibilities, I noticed that I would be doing like a 12 hour shift. I would come home and there was no daylight. I needed a change in lifestyle. So I decided to move to the public sector. So my husband and I, we share a joint account and the way we approach finances in our household is that he takes care of the investments accounts for himself and our children and then I take care of the childcare expenses and investments for myself as well. We both pay for the mortgages because we do have a mortgage on our primary home and uh, the lot that we purchase and we both also pay for like groceries and utilities. Last year, the, the revenue that we generated from Gentero went mostly into high yield savings account after we paid ourselves. I honestly believe in the idea of living within your means. And I'm also aware that, you know, there are taxes that you have to pay, so a lot of the money that I saved was not only for the business, but also for my children and our future goals, and also a separate amount for coming taxes. As a senior architect at Port Authority, I mainly do infrastructure projects, which include train stations and airports. One of the projects that I worked on is the JFK Terminal 1 project. The main project that I have now is a train station, the Harrison Project in New Jersey.
One thing my, my parents always told me is that if you're gonna purchase a home and one of your spouses dies, one of you have to be able to cover the mortgage. At that moment, I felt that my income at Poor Authority was not sufficient enough to cover the mortgage. My idea was that, okay, let me take a little project here and there and, and earn some extra income. So as I was taking a bunch of side gigs, so I remember the first project I had was like $20, and this is more about graphic design where I'm creating ads for my first client, which was Indeed.com. I was doing, let's say, like 70% of the work, and then I will you know, outsource the remaining 30% of the work. But I noticed that it was interfering with most of my time over the weekend because I still had my nine to five job. So if a client comes to me, I could come up with a concept and then share that concept with a team member and then he or she would do the entire production work where I would just oversee or QA, QC their work. Some architectural firms spend money on renderings, but a lot of times those renderings are very conceptual. I feel that my company is different. It's photorealistic, it actually looks real. So every little thing that you see in the rending, you can actually go to the store and buy it. And it's also based off your actual dimensions of your space. In the next few years, I'm hoping that Gentero will grow as a business and we would create partnerships with developers in New York, New Jersey, or anywhere else in the United States. I'm hoping that, you know, my husband and I will be able to build our home in the next year or two. We are planning on traveling more abroad once the children get a little older and going back to our usual ways of traveling to different countries here and there. My approach to money has drastically changed. I strongly emphasize on the importance of generational wealth, which translates to investments. We've been looking into like 529s, 401ks, and then in the future we're going to talk about creating a trust because our main goal is to create this generational wealth for our children.